Yeah, hi, this is Charlie Newshafer. I'm just uh, looking at this 1939 road map by Sinclair. Wonderful five panel cover art and a map inside showing roads to the 1939 New York World's Fair. So we, we know about road maps. We've talked about them before. Very popular category. But today we're going to take a look at some other modes of transportation that maps were produced for. Railroads, airlines, steamships, buses, subways, trolleys, ferries, a whole range of other modes of transportation. Railroads probably go back as one of the earlier ones in that category. And we see uh, a couple of examples here. I want to show you this is the Great Eastern Railway book with map and timetables. This is a Northern Pacific map, system map, and schedule for the Northern Pacific Railroad. Delaware and Hudson, another railroad map. These are just a couple of examples out of, out of hundreds of possibilities in our collection and in our store. Union Pacific Railroad. This is a uh, booklet of timetables and system maps for the Union Pacific Railway. Then we move over to airlines. A little newer way of getting around, but uh, this is a uh, Pan American Airways 1955 map and booklet for their Super 7. And the uh, timetables, once again, wonderful two panel map of the uh, airline routes that Pan Am flew back then. And uh, a little smaller and more recent uh, example, this is from Copa Airlines, that's the state airline of Panama. This has a system map in it, a map uh, from United Airlines, big carrier. They have a wonderful map, large fold-out map. Like a, map, a lot of the U.S. air maps, this is by Jefferson, and it shows the uh, United routes. This is a 1957, 1967 map. So those were commercial airline maps, and we also have any number of aeronautical charts used by, in general aviation, by civilian pilots and military pilots uh, and commercial pilots. But these are these were more for absolute use by the pilot. This is a restricted aeronautical chart of Boston. And we have a number of others that uh, cover different states and territories. And another way of getting around in the world is by steamship or sailboat, uh, or motor vessel of some sort. And this is a great example of a uh, Alaska cruise map on the Chilcotin, 1953 Union Steamship Line. Texaco, the oil company, put out uh, cruising charts of various locations in the U.S. This is a Texaco cruising map of New Jersey and points there nearby. Uh, and travelers to New York City sometimes would take the Circle Line cruise, which went around Manhattan. And in the center of this guide to the cruise is a transportation map and a fold-out map showing the route of the Circle Line steamboat. This is also from 1957. And then there were individual sailors who ventured into the waters and would use nautical charts. Some of these are much bigger than I'm able to open here without completely disappearing. Um, but these are also very collectible, very specific in their detail, soundings, water conditions, navigation aids, and we're going to come back to the one underneath here in a few minutes. But uh, just to give you an idea of what an article chart looked like. And let's not forget buses. Who doesn't like to travel by a bus, right? This is a Greyhound, Greyhound tour package with a map, a pictorial map of the US. Pictorial maps are fascinating in their own right. This one opens up to uh, maybe 18 by 34 or so, showing some of the highlights of the Greyhound vacation. And there's subways, of course, 
you want to get to the World's Fair, this is the 1964 World's Fair. Seagram's provided a map of transportation uh, colored to the different uh, rapid transit routes available. And one other quick uh, look at a ferry back back in uh, 1962. This was the ferry map to cross in Lake Champlain. And as I said, there's one more map I want to take a close look at. This is an old sea chart and therefore it qualifies as a sailing map. This is from 1850 and it was used in 1861. It's part of the coast of North Carolina off Pamlico Sound and Cape Hatteras there. And it was marked by a sailor who was in these waters back and forth, his headings and dates are marked in the summer of 1861. A very busy time, of course, at Civil War going on then, and that's when the Union uh, was trying to get ashore there and take over some of those forts. So there's a lot of history in this map. This is a large format, uh, what they call a blueback chart by Blunt. So that's just a little window into a couple of different transportation maps. Uh, I sure hope you'll uh, visit our website or check on the links below and see more on nautical maps, sailing maps, airline maps, railroad maps, all kinds of maps. And if you like the video, say, say you like it and come back and, and subscribe. We'd love to have you come back and we'll keep doing this as so long as you're out there. Take care. Happy mapping.